All right, guys. Oh, what we got right here is a safe. You hear that? Listen. We, we just had date night, and what better way to finish date night than what? Oh, okay. Opening a safe. <laughs> we just went to dinner. Earlier today, me and Mason moved that locker, and uh, man, I'm tired, but... Jana wanted to go to dinner. We had no kids tonight, so that was nice. I even got some ice cream. <laughs> Yay! Look at that smile. Yeah, felt good. Okay, so we got this safe, and I'll tell you, like, I wasn't really expecting a safe in this private party purchase. This is a guy who moved to Hawaii six years ago. I wasn't expecting a safe. That was a surprise, and then the safe is full. Another surprise, and then today we found bear skin. I mean, they're bear hides. hides. Okay, yeah, hides. Full hides with the head. And then we found some jewelry, it's silver right and gold. There. Yeah, some of it's, it's over right there. Over. And we found video games. We found coins. We found good stuff today. Yes, so games. Woo! Now I'm like, okay, we're finding stuff that I did not expect, right? Yeah. And I was saying, hey, we're going to buy a private party locker there's gonna not gonna be the wow factor there's no x factor we got wow. and today we had it so today was a big wow actually now i'm saying maybe the safe has got something in it it's got something in it but i mean something good right so we're gonna drill this off and Should uh wear safety goggles you yeah because if, it flies if you want to eye. yeah it probably will okay that's that's weird it's what? spinning it's not even like uh it's not drilling in you see that see watch the locket's spinning that's weird it's like turning it i feel like it should go okay that came out <laughs> a little topper on it it looks like pretty little so maybe that thing was just spinning, but uh, is it hot? Um, is it hot? Like no, sometimes it, it does get hot, but <laughs> it's not. It's funny. Did you catch that? Yeah. It's Going slow. That br that bit may be a little. Uh, oh. That may be dull. No, I don't know. Let's try a little bit more. It's not going very fast. It kind of has it now. Uh -uh. Let me try a different bit. We're coming over to this the all locker bit, so. Oh, yeah, that's over. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was it. Was it though? It felt like it. It went through, but. Uh, Need a crowbar now? Oh, he's gonna come. I down. might. I might need a crowbar. Right here. Right here. Right here. No OCD, right? This is a madness. Cleaning area. You should have been a surgeon, Annie. Oh, yeah. You actually would have, you have the personality to be a surgeon. No, I do. You kind of do. I'm not smart enough to be a surgeon. That's not true. You are definitely smart enough. I'm not. You are. I'm not. I'm not. All right. Okay. Ooh, it's something that just fell on my foot. I did? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not. It feels like it wants to open. Okay, let's get... Crowbar? Yeah. Crowbar. Crowbar. Look at it now. What comes next? <laughs> okay, usually we do this outside, but... This is not really a very good angle. I think we need to jam it in there a little more. 
you have a smaller one? Up there you go. Woo! Seems like something's breaking though. There we go. Now you get to use his muscles. Wobbly table. Grab that. Let's keep this down here. We're moving it down to the ground, folks. Put your back foot on it. My back, maybe. Ooh, there we go. Oh, okay, that was it. That was All right. it. Good job. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's bring it up and then I'll put it. Okay. Right. Filming? I am. Okay, guys, ready? Let's see what's in this safe right here. <gasps> oh, there's... Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. Not guys. what I was expecting. So we got some signed baseball New York Mets. That looks old. That's a lot of signatures. This is probably a whole team, right? Yeah, be careful with that. Yeah. Gloves. Um yeah, I don't have gloves. So. Uh, okay, this is awesome. Let's we have This is very interesting. Okay, let's rotate that around. We have someone that might be able to help us with this. Yeah, we'll, we'll call our, our good friend Tickle Cat. Yeah, we'll take some pictures of it and send it to him tonight. He knows uh his uh, signatures. He's really good at this stuff. So this one looks newer. Another team signature, I think. But this one looks older. The Mets. What if we got like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Famous player. Well, we got famous players. Oh, this one looks maybe even older. And I'm going not, I'm oh, saying that wow. just because it's the ink's even, not too close. It's even more faded. Uh -huh. Look at that. Really faded. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, I'm okay. kind of, I'm Ooh, kind look of at this. about this. I have to tell you. broken glass in here. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Maybe that was me rattling it around. Okay, wait. Did. This is interesting. Okay, what is this? A little secret handbook here. Um, is it a Mason's book? Ritual of the Order of the Eastern Star. What is this, you guys? I've never heard of it. What the heck? It's 1976 right here. That's kind of interesting. What kind of stuff does it have in it? Just out of curiosity, what kind of things does it say? Jewels of officers. Esther. Opening ceremony. Installation ceremony. This is interesting. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, masons or... That's what I was wondering. Like a free mason somewhere? Maybe. Be careful on the glass. Yeah. Don't you cut okay, yourself. Okay, so this is interesting. A very old book right here. Uh -huh. Photographs. Some old photographs. Oh, yeah. Those are old. Oh, man. Look at that baby right there. Yeah. Look at that baby's face. See that expression? Yeah, look at it there. Baby looks super surprised. <laughs> that baby looked like it just won the lottery right there. It looks like that in kind of all the photos, though. Very expressive baby. Hmm. Um, lots of uh, baby photos. Too many baby photos. Um, that's cool. Neat old book right here. Oh, look at the horse. Yeah, horse. Yeah. It's really, it looks like a meal. All right, so. Oh my gosh, that was cool with the dog. These are definitely old. Yeah, just not like the best subject matter. It's definitely cool, but cars, military, that kind of stuff is much better. Well, maybe there's the some military photos. in here. That's a good one. Look at the kid right there. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Mm -hmm. Definitely the same baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably so, is. Yeah. Huh? Kid, kid looks oh, tough. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. What is this? Do you see how dra fancy their dress? This looks like Little Rascals or That's something. You know what I mean? I like, like it's from a movie or TV show. That's kind of interesting. It sure is. Looks really unhappy. Look at this. Oh, now that we're getting some really interesting stuff that's here. That's a cool photo right there. It really you is. You know, it's funny. There's photos like that of your grandma in the parade when she was a little kid in Venice. Remember? Yeah. And they're dressed like that. Oh. It's like a nativity. It's interesting. This okay. is an old book right here. What do you think on that? Like 1920s or 1930s? No, with the clothing, I say 30s, but maybe earlier. Broken glass is unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, patches. See patches. This is uh this is cool. 
I mean, not that. I mean, just the fact that there's stuff in... There's another baseball! In the safe. Usually the safes are empty. Do you think the balls were in, the, in that glass? Oh, dang it. it I broke. totally broke it because I was knocking it around. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, it's kind of hard to know that, but... Yeah, that's what that is. Is there anything in the front? It is plaque? probably the case, huh? Is there a plaque in the front? No, okay, I just want to make sure. Let's put that in the garbage real quick so you don't get cut, babe. Honey, I'm so excited we opened this. Yeah, this is cool. We found good stuff in here, guys. If you didn't watch the last few videos, they're definitely worth watching. Uh, this has been a something a little different. We bought this locker private party, and I'm happy we did. Mm -hmm. It's been um, it's been exciting. The so, house, heck of a cool. Yeah, some old patches. Yeah, 1910. Mason and I found some old Girl Scout vests today. You did? Yeah, there's Campfire Girls. Yeah. And patches. Is oh, Campfire okay. Girls different than... than uh... Yes, they are okay. separate. So I think it was Campfire Girls that we found because it didn't look like the Girl Scouts. I was a Girl Scout. Campfire was a whole different sec. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. These were probably mm -hmm. oh, in the see, display. Bobby. Number nine. This could be a Little League, maybe. Hmm. The coach. This could be. Uh, but it could be someone important because it has a gameplay ball on it. It could be literally. Okay. Uh, okay. This is more interesting right here. Yeah. All right. Ooh, ooh. What do we got? Oh my gosh. Uh, this looks like gold. And diamond. Yeah. Is that to the sec thing? Like the ring? Because it looks like the same emblem. Uh, I really don't know. But it definitely looks like gold and diamond. Okay, that says oh, 10K. It says 10K on it, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, we'll take it in the other room. Uh, maybe 14K. We'll take this in the other room. We'll look at Let's the loop, it. and uh, we'll check that diamond, too. Okay. Just a second, guys. Just a second. That's a good find. Okay. This is fun. This is super fun. But we haven't had a safe as good as this since no. the coin one. We haven't really had very many safes. No. Okay, Not see. like the TV show, folks. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Some sort of certificate. That's like a, some sort of Bible. New Testament. Right there. But it has the star on it. It's different. Star in the star. Yeah, it's match. just something. Order of the Eastern Star. Yeah. 1984. Huh. I'm gonna have to ask. I'm gonna ask Josh if he's heard of this. Yeah, it's something to do with Christianity because it's got a New Testament. Oops. Nope. And there's another little star right here. Yeah, I'm not sure. D E S. Is that a receipt? I guess. Secretary's receipt. It says. How funny. It's for pesos. 1982. Well, it's from Philippines. It's pesos. The Philippines on one thing I thought I saw. Huh. This okay. says Riverside. We did have family in the Philippines. Yeah, we found some stuff from the Philippines. Lots of coins and stuff already. I think they're, uh, the, the gal's family is from the Philippines. This is interesting, for sure. For sure. Okay, what's this? Compliments of Rose something, 1983? Oh, box joy. Fraternal jewelry. Oh. Pen. Okay. Stick pen. Is that the same star, maybe? Yeah, it is. I'm guessing that might be gold, though. Yeah, it could be. I don't see a mark on it, but... We'll look a little closer. Yeah. Okay, but look at this. It's the... Oh, wait yeah. a minute. One more goodie. The rest is just glass in there, but... Yeah, be careful. Okay. It's just light. Mm-hmm. see what Come it is. Come on, baby. Oh, I was going to oh. say pearls. <gasps> oh, Mickey Moto. Yeah, those are what you bought me when I got married. Oh, those are old Mickey Mattis. This is old stuff. Okay, let's mix it right here. Okay, let's see. This is... Guys, we found a safe with some gold in here. Oh, look at the class. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Look at that M for Mickey Moto. I think it's oh, I'm silver, sure it's silver or is it gold? I would guess it's silver. Yeah, it looks like tarnishing. Yeah, it's coming apart right here. Oh, that's bad. It needs too bad. to be fixed. Yeah, I think it's easy to fix yeah, it. Yeah, well, at least the strand is intact. The jeweler need to fix it. You right know what there. I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like a graduated set of pearls. That's pretty, huh? Those are in beautiful shape. Great color. Yeah. All right, there's one other goodie in there. Yeah, this could be some gold right here. This is definitely an old box right here. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's nothing underneath that. There's not. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, wants to come in. Where is she? She must be outside. How'd she get out there? So this is, I think, leather right here. 
Yeah, it doesn't look as old, though. Huh. It's a bracelet. Looks silver. It's pretty. Yeah, I gotta look. Let's go look at the loop with these items and see what we see, okay? Okay, okay this definitely says 10 carat on here. It also says G R A N, Gran, like Granny, or I don't know. Okay, let's check and see if it's a diamond. Got our Presidium gem tester here. Oh, yeah, a diamond. It's a freaking diamond. That went like that. Look at that, it's like That's double actually equals. It's a big diamond, it's just really inset. Do you see that? Yeah. 10 karat gold. That's a very interesting ring right here. You guys know what that if this is a symbol for something let us know yeah if it's part of the same book oh, and all hey, that hey, like hey hey that looks well, good you don't know where that you don't know what it means i'm wearing it too late let's see if i see a mark on this little guy no i'm not seeing a mark but uh, it doesn't stick the magnet that might be gold even if it's gold or not it still might have more value if this is uh yeah. A symbol that's, you know. Then we're going to check the clasp on the pearls. This Mickey motor might be worth getting fixed. There's a loose pearl in there, and this one of the strands is. It, yeah, the pearl. Off. Apart. It says M for Mickey Moto, and then there's an S in a box. I think that stands for silver or sterling. Probably sterling. Kiss. Look at this. Oh, you're filming? Luna. Luna, say no hi. That, but I'm, I'm all nearly fine. <laughs> you see that? You just being. I'm pretty sure that's silver. And then this little bracelet. The last thing. She's mad because you've been gone all day. She gets really upset when Jack leaves her for the day. Yeah, 925. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's marked 925. It's got a nice silver little ring right I mean, a bracelet right here. Mm -hmm. What's the point of the leather? Just a style. It's a look. Hmm. Okay. That's cool. That was kind of popular in the early 2000s. But the ring is... Uh... The ring's... Well, let's, let's, let's weigh, weigh it. it, yeah. It's 10 carats, so it's not, like, super valuable, but... That diamond's nice looking. 7 grams. So 10 carats, like, 25 bucks a gram. So that's, like, what, 175 bucks? Well, and there's a diamond. So. Yeah, it's worth more than that with the diamond, but... Still, I'm just saying, worst case, scrap value, 175 bucks for that. The amazing loop, but I'm sorry, I have to just look at this real quick. Hi, baby. Come here, baby. We'll make you famous, Luna. Luna. Kitty, kitty, kitty. You get over here, you cute cat. Are you being cute? Oh, well, she's being so cute right now. She, she knows the camera's on. All right, guys, so the plan was uh, the next day to go and unbox on Saturday from the locker, but Jana and I went out garage sale hunting in the morning. We didn't film because uh, we were just kind of pressed for time. We just wanted to go to a couple sales. Quick. We wind up like hitting this one sale. It was unbelievable, right? It was an older gal mm -hmm. in Alamo, which is one of the more affluent areas around here. Mm -hmm. um, very wealthy. She apparently owns three houses and uh, likes to buy likes to spend money, likes to collect, and likes to pick, and, uh, but they were, what, closing, clearing out one of their houses? They're clearing out a house, and then they just got finished with a big remodel, and so they had a lot of stuff she just decided not to keep when they packed it away and repacked it, so, um, she was cleaning house, basically, yeah. and she likes very nice designer things. Yeah. And uh, some of it, her husband, I guess, had passed away some time ago. Yeah. Some of it was her husband's collections, too, that she was letting go. So, all right. So we want to show you this room. It's like completely full. We wound up spending $735, which is more than we usually spend at the garage sales. I mean, I think we've only spent more than that maybe once. And that's with a guy that had like brand new Legos. Yeah. And we spent over a thousand bucks. This is years ago. But anyways, uh, we usually don't spend much. But this time there's just, it was it was a great sale. We're That's not going to, awesome. we don't run into those very often. So let's show you what we got in this room. Exactly. All right. So I don't know how much, we only asked the price on one item. Everything else was bundled deals. So what, I don't know how much each item was. So, but Jana is just going to go through and show us yeah. what we got. Starting with this single stitch. Uh, Death Row Records. It's an extra large, super cool shirt. Obviously yeah, vintage. Vintage for sure. Uh, this was probably Jack picked this up, and um, I was like, "Oh, wait, it's a triple, a three X. <gasps> That's even better. Three XL. And this is sick. I mean, this is really. This was it's a good cool. find. Well, honey. That'll, I'm gonna say that'll be very desirable yeah. at the vintage market for sure. Yeah, very very cool. Okay. All right. 
then we picked up these really small um, crystal glasses. I just love them. They're so cute. I love the design. Super sweet. Jack picked these goodies up. They're really nice. Yeah. Um, I wasn't sure if we had some solid silver here, so I grabbed it. And uh, Wear Bright, right there is the name. And then like on this piece right here, oh, that's Wear Bright. Some of the pieces say silver soldered. That's what those are, yeah. Reed and Barton. And you see it's got the five ounces right there. So I thought that could be silver. I wasn't familiar with that, but it turns out it is silver, but just a, it's a mix. Yeah. So it's not pure silver. It's not 925, but it's still a little bit better than like just a mixed metal stuff, but it's better than silver plate. But we got quite a few pieces there. Oh yeah, and then we also picked up some Arthur Court. This caught our eyes. This is a really cool tray with the leaf pattern on it for an eight by eight. You put that in there, really nice. Um, these candlesticks are awesome. Super pretty, beautiful, again. This Arthur. is all pewter. Yeah. Arthur Court makes the nice pewter pieces, very high end. We have this uh, knife and fork set right here for carving elephants, super cool. And then we have this little tray. Oh, there's a little tag on it. How much is it? It said 20. 20, that's probably what she, she's a picker too. Uh, so she probably paid 20 bucks. And then this is a stag, right? Yeah, so that's like, pretty interesting. This is also Arthur Love Court. That. And then we have some more pewter. I don't know if these are Arthur Court. They don't have marks on them, but there's more. Yeah, no here. marks on that. But the ducks, bunnies, roosters, and horses. Super cute. These fish are like enamel. They're really cute. We have a set of six. This looks like Linux to me. Um, I didn't find the mark on it, but I know Linux, they do a lot of this little porcelain with the gold. It's really cute. I just caught my eye. And um, some nice baking, like decorative baking pans right here. These are beautiful. It's Nordic wear. Yeah. I think, no, well, that's that one's, Nordic wear. that's Nordic wear. This is another brand. Yeah. Really high quality Really stuff. nice. So those are really beautiful. And then some more ring. This is like some sort of shell. It's really pretty pattern. Gorgeous. Napkin rings. And then Napkin rings. And then again, some, some more little bunnies. Super cute. Okay. Then we move on to the knives. We got Jack just. I, mean, he I, I grabbed these them all as fast as he could. Look at this. Look yeah, at what the, the carving. It's a cat. Yeah, that's really and interesting. A, a mark right here, or is that more of the fish? Oh no, just the fish. Here, pull okay. that out. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if these are just meant to be decorative or if this I is a higher. That one looks like you might have used this it. This one is pretty interesting. Yeah. But that one's so, got two little ones in there too. See that? Oh yeah, that's cool. Dang, so and cool. These have the leather like sheets right there, and it's got. It's missing some of the smaller ones, but that's got one of the smaller ones. Oh okay. See, pull it out. Yeah, it's like a little. Oh bit. my gosh, it's a BB knife. Yeah. It's a little BB one. So seven of those. Then we got this, which is really beautiful. It's like jewelry a box. Jewelry box. It's missing a little pin, okay. brass pin. So. Uh, that's easy to fix. The rest of it looks in beautiful condition. And look at this. This has got one of those, uh, I don't know, is that Chinese? It's one of those locks. You tell locks us. Locks that right there. Very cool. I actually haven't opened the drawers. Maybe that's got something in there. Uh, this eagle right here, oh, solid wood. That's yeah. like very heavy wood. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Lots of great detail. Even. So many of these items um, were really, really unique. She had a great eye. And beautiful. This is a coffee grinder right here. Very old. She said something about it. She thought this was cork, but I think it's actually wormwood. I think this is some kind of a tree that had worms in it. This gives it a great look. And up here we got uh, brass top. This I actually bought from my friend John because he collects coffee grinders and I'm always trying to find him something he doesn't have. He already has it, but he's going to get a second one now. We got that Canon. Uh, we have two cameras actually. Jack didn't even realize until we got it home. I was like, there's two cameras in here. It's all in a plastic bag. And this one says works on it. 10 bucks. She probably charger. picked it off somebody else. Could have been. And then another camera right here. Nice. And then we have the some more elves. knives. I um, found these in a little cigar box and put them away. A couple of these are case, which Jack said are better knives. These two right yeah, here. Yeah, I think these are 100 bucks each on those case. Swiss Army, of course. It has a broken blade, but these have warranties. The no, this, one, one this one's a butterfly knife. And that's, that looks like an outdoor knife. Waltco product. Waltco. Walt That's a, a nice quality knife. So we'll be auctioning those off. And then I found this little beautiful stone. We found something similar to this when we had that one locker and this is just the carving on this. It's a dragon. It's beautiful. It's a stamp. 
Yeah, it's a stamp. And then the stamper that goes with it is There's here. The ink pad right there. There's the ink pad. And so it has cool. a matching a dragon on it. That's yeah. some yeah. beautiful stuff. And I found this really cool vintage pen. It's like a metal of some sort. It's definitely older and it's really beautiful. Then I got some necklaces here. Um, she was at first asking uh, like $10 a piece for these. This one's very cool to the touch. It's really nice. Mm. And um, then there's a few more here. There's four more that I got. I have some more jewelry too. And then I got a pair of Prada sunglasses here. The Prada. And that comes with the Prada bag. So they're really nice. The Prada lenses sunglasses. are in great shape. Yeah, no scratches. Really nice. Yeah. And then the coach glasses were also in the case as well. So we ended up getting two pair of sunglasses in that bag. And then Jack scored big on these. He snatched up these watches and they are insane. They are look brand new. I really don't think he wore any of these. Look at that. No. There's no wear. These are nice. They're all Nike. Those are all three Nike watches. Yeah, three Nike. Oh, I would say these these do not look worn like at all. No. If maybe they were very rarely. This one has a little wear, but looks super nice with the orange bands. And then we have these men's ones. We got um, this one is a ham. It's a Hamlin, I think. Hamlin. And this is a Seiko and a Timex. And these are in gorgeous shape. Look at that! How clean that is. It's totally clean. These are be this one's beautiful. It's like the metal handle. Like they're really really nice. Mm, yeah, it's like braided metal. Yeah. So. And then we got tons of purses here. Yeah, we got bags. all of these purses. So, so let me just scan over it real quick. You can see there, there's, she had a ton of purses. Yeah, and she actually had so many designer bags. It was kind of insane. We have Kate Spade, uh, DKNY. This is kind of vintage. Michael Kors, some Italian ones. Uh, Trina Turk over here. Um, Alvin Nippon, a little coach. I mean, we got a lot. This one, um, Hermes is that black bag right there. This? Yeah. That's a Hermes? Yeah. Whoa, That's the really? one I thought that was the best one. Whoa, yeah. there's a coach. Two coaches. Like oh, I yeah, said. this one's coach too. Yeah, and then this one is actually um, a really nice designer too. And the, I can't, I gotta figure out the name of it. I don't have it. I'll pull the bag back up, but this has got turquoise oh, work on it. Suede. I don't think that's real turquoise, but it sure is nice. Yeah. And look at the, the uh... Yeah, and then the Trina Turk, and then Kate Spade. And then this one was from Ma I Magnums. It's all leather. Had the price tag in it. She had, like I said, a lot of expensive bags. This also was There's from so I Magnum. Bags. She had a lot from I Magnum, so that was kind of cool. Now this, I said, do you have any jewelry? And uh, her son brought out this cool box of stuff to me of stones, and it was like insane. These stones are beautiful, and like some of the price tags on them, like you know, she paid like sixty-eight bucks for these. When this was in two thousand and five, it had the year on it, and I was like, "What? This has like twenty dollars." Twenty-eight, right? Yeah. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Right for here. that, I think that might be real turquoise. If it's twenty-nine bucks for one stone. Yeah, take that, a look. That looks like real turquoise. Ooh, dropping it. But yeah, if anyone comment below on any of these stones, you see Jack will kind of scan it. You have this little figure ring there, mm. which is kind of cool. It's like Chinese or Japanese. Um, all this stuff for like crafting. I mean, it be. So it's all for jewelry in here. So this yeah. is all jewelry. So I don't know if this is like carnelian or red coral, but this was also kind of pricey on it. I think it had like $45 for these. Um, and then there was a lot of silver and gold clasp on some of these. And then this is just like a multiple of like different stones that really are beautiful for necklaces. Yeah, like look at this. Look at yeah. that carved stone of some sort. That's yeah. really intricate. Oh yeah. There's quite a few pieces that are like it just kind of all blends together, but when you look at it up close, that's probably sterling right there. Some really nice. Just, uh, yeah, and there's actually quite a bit of yeah. sterling, like this also sterling in these little packets that are sterling. Yes, it's a sterling silver clasp. This is a sterling silver on the clasp. This right here I saw on Mark, and it was in this little container. I saw one, at least one piece is Mark 14 carat right there. Those clasps. These, this, there might be gold in there. This is the one you really liked. That's so silver. neat. It looks like, when there's no mark on it, but it looks like silver with the yeah. 
chunk of turquoise and then that piece. These are, to me, the most interesting. They look like old. I said, she had very expensive things, like insanely expensive antiques. Uh, that's 925 there we found. So a lot of silver. A lot of this is very likely silver, but yeah, and we're going to have to test it. On this. So, Neat very, stuff. very cool. All right, and then we also had these belts. I don't want to skip over these because these were super cool. We have some nice leather belts. Cole Haan on this one. A couple different ones. We'll do that as a lot. Uh, the husband was really into race cars. I don't know if he was a sponsor or worked on cars, but he had some really cool ephemera. It's all autograph. Signed pieces. Yeah, signed pieces. Um, a lot of signed. We have patches here. We have tons of cards. This is a model of his car, a number three. Yeah, there's a few signed ones. Right, this is Richard, Richard Petty, Yeah. Signed. Yeah, there's several okay. signatures here. That one, that one, this one. This the is helmet. signed by a whole bunch of drivers, it looks like. Yeah. It's a little mini helmet. We have some collectible trucks here. Chevron. Chevron. Limited edition. Those are 1998. Mini bobbleheads. Yeah. And then some of the, like, patches off some of the race car stuff. So Buzz Chew and then like that racing. So they have those. Neat. And then here's a autograph to one of the people that's like signed the little helmet. There's a plaque for Dale Hor Earnhardt Jr. That is not signed, but it's neat. It's still shrink wrap. And then more car race car miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. Some Hot Wheels in there, right? This too, yeah. Hot Wheels. There's a Hot Wheels set. Some trucks. More plastic trucks here. Yeah. And then more Hot Wheels Harley Davidson. Media good for 49ers. Here's a Giants ball that's signed by Will Clark. Well, everyone loves Will Clark. Bubba Paris, Paris. signed a uh, San Francisco 49ers hat. Right there, see that World Champs? 84, 88, what does that say? 80, 89? 89, maybe, yeah. And a couple then, more hats. PS then, PlayStation hat. Yeah, it's super cool. The Elvis lot, I like super A couple super of Harley excited. Davidson diecast. And then a bunch of Elvis. Yeah, lots of the Pez, a purse, a cassette. This was all together. Um, some really cool postcards. That kind of caught my eye. Uh, these. So from movies? Mm-hmm. And then, like, these are super good. I love these. That one's a great one. I love that one. And then some books. Neat. Elvis is super hot right now because of the it's movie Elvis. that just came out. Yeah, I guess it never gets unpopular, but... No. And then there was a few binders of cards, and the binders are kind of rough shape so we just pulled the pages out in the middle of pages Jana found these pokemon yeah so these look like mostly energy cards so a whole bunch of them and then we've got some foreign cards the pokemon pokey pocket monster maybe this is from japan cool. could be japanese cards yeah pretty cool yeah i don't see any dates on there that's what i was just gonna ask you what's mm -hmm. the date yeah I don't and see then, it and uh, then race car cards they had a whole bunch of race car ones and then hockey Hockey. They were really into hockey. And then this is just like... Mix? Mix. More race car. I'll organize these up and put them in two lots, maybe. So. Yeah, most of the stuff we're going to sell in our live auction. And when she says we're putting them in lots, that's what we're talking about. Getting them ready for the live auction. Um, this San Francisco 49ers ball right here. And a really nice display case. It's not signed or anything. It's cool. It's a limited edition, but of 20000 But it's got yeah. that nice patina on it. It's super I think it's 30 nice. years old. It's from the 90s, I believe. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. It has 97 as their last championship on there. And then we've got this Pee Wee Herman doll. The head was off of it, but it's some kind of ventriloquist dummy. Got to get that head on there better, but he's a little stained up here. He's got a little bit of stains on there. Um, needs to be cleaned up, but he's just so cool. I, I think that's awesome. He's super cool. To me, that's 80s. Got a Godzilla bank right here. And... Still works. His eyes light up and make some noise. We're going to be doing a toy show in uh, August. Jeez, six days. Six days from now. Wow. Yes. It came up so quick. So some of these toys are going to go out there. Here's Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea. Shout out. Again, a little rough condition, but just a vintage piece and just so cool. Popeye stuff. Very cool. This right here, nice Corvette, Corvette uh, Durin Durigo, Durigo, made in Italy. Looks like it's missing the windshield, unfortunately, but yeah, still a neat piece. Reason. And then this uh, cast iron piece right here. These cast iron toys are really cool. Fruit truck, look great on the 
shelf and it probably was on the shelf because it's all dusty unfortunately i didn't notice so afterwards that the, the part right here is busted but it won't matter when it's sitting on the shelf but a lot of this stuff oh we're not done hang on no, guys we we're not done i forgot we got a whole bunch over here <laughs> still going look at this extreme midget wrestling the baddest little show a couple other shirts over here nothing too amazing but the t-shirt sells so well at the flea markets right now it's a very hot product this okay well, let's just go to this little millie leather um design jacket right there super cool with a pattern in it medium and then an eileen fisher small with the tag still on it but yeah. it's a little larger it looks like a suede like so um we jacket. know we know eileen fisher sells yeah, we do and <laughs> here's a scarf right here for 98 dollars with the tags eileen fisher so scarf. we have a lot of tags i'd say we have like a third of these are tagged there's cashmere, Italian. So silk. this is all scarves here. Yeah. The entire table is scarves. Like this one right here, one hundred and thirty-eight dollars. That's another Eileen Fisher. Yeah. So, but look at the work on this. This is gorgeous. Wow. It's this, really pretty. This one is a cashmere. Still has the nice. tag on it. Not been worn. A lot of these have not been used or worn. Wow. So really cool. Made in India. Nice. And then uh, she liked silk. nice scarves. Oh, does it? Wait, who's that? It's a sign. It's a sign right here. Earth Day. Yeah, and it's silk. Silk. Yeah, so several silk ones, some really great ones. There's an Armani one in here. Lots of mm. different brands. Really, really neat. Um, all different kinds of fabrics, all different colors. So those will be on. Um, auction that's going to auction oh this is pretty yeah that's oh. funny i like that one a lot we put the dryer sheets in here just to freshen them up because they've been in storage probably for a long time yeah and that's oh that's really nice i think it's pretty what it's else? jones what York. do i know oh it is okay yeah. yeah macy's nice so anyway so that i think about wraps it up i think that's everything right 735 bucks for everything in the room let me just scan over it one more time guys Comment below if you think that was a good pr uh, price. Well, I'm like, going to ask off because you negotiated all of it. Yeah. I think a little good, bad cop when you'd ask me if it was okay. But oh, yeah. that was. Uh, I just wanted her to think that I was, like, hesitating. But uh, she was being fair, and we were buying a lot. She yeah. had a lot of cool, bigger pieces. Mm -hmm. She had this table base that was, like, a juggler on his face but like his basically his body bent backwards into a u with his legs bent at the knees and it was meant to put a tabletop a glass mm, tabletop on top cool. she just had some really cool piece she had a great eye she had great rugs N nice rugs and yeah. some antiques a lot of stuff from like thailand like carved wood pieces but we don't really deal on that stuff too much we can bring it to the nicer flea market but we were really more interested in buying stuff that we could Small. ship yeah small items small shippable and that's what we got we got a room full of it so 735 basically we got a big i asked her how much for the coffee grinder and she said that grabbed it right away because i'm always looking for my buddy for his coffee grinders and i hardly ever see him so 35 dollars, and i thought okay i think that's fair let's go i said can i just make a stack she said yeah so then we started making a stack stack got pretty big and uh, i said how much for everything she said 250 i said done 250 and i said but i'm Round gonna put two. it in the car and come back i'm gonna make some another stack she goes okay we made a second stack I say how much? She goes two fifty, and I go, okay. How about two hundred? And then she's like, two twenty five. I say okay, and then uh, and then the next stack. Uh, she said three hundred, right? No, she said two fifty, and then I kind of laugh. She goes, not everything's two fifty. You just have stacks that are about the same. And I'm like, yeah. I go, how about two twenty five? And she goes, how about two thirty five? And I just say, okay, <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. She's a tough cookie. Yeah, yeah. Sweet old lady, though. And uh, she was happy to see the stuff going to a new home because it's not been enjoyed. It's been in storage you know, in one she of her three houses. Feeling. So I, I got does. to go in the house. The daughter-in-law let me go in because she had she Arthur, like Court. Arthur Court. So I walked into the dining room. Amazing antiques everywhere throughout the whole house. Cabinets full of glass and crystal and beautiful things and yeah. furniture. She had this huge Arthur Court custom piece of like horns and it was this probably like this big on the table by this and it was just stunning yeah and she said my son's already called dibs on that <laughs> when i laughed her son was like younger so uh, it was really really she cool. had nice stuff for sure yeah yeah we don't find usually garage sales, i mean especially lately we've been going to community sales even in good areas it's just like stuff 
Same old stuff everywhere, right? Well, she Same told stuff. me that she likes to shop. This one. Home confinement. Oh, funny. So she That's a some things there. Yeah, I can see that. So she, that home consignment's a very high end consignment shop. They actually have them in multiple states, but the headquarters here locally, and we used to have our advertising business. Uh, they were our biggest client. And yes. I say they meaning he because we know the owner. Um, he's and awesome. he's a great guy, very smart businessman, and uh, was our best customer really yes. because he spent a lot of money and he, he really was a pleasure to deal with. I love him. Um, yeah, we miss, we miss, uh, that's part of the business we miss working with with him so uh but great store and yeah that doesn't surprise me at yeah, all yeah i forgot to tell you that yeah so. it's where like rich people bring their stuff they don't have garage sales they bring their stuff to home consignment they're used stuff it's just consignment off. To a thousand. yeah easy easy oh that makes sense i didn't know that yeah. all right well anyways guys we wanted to share that with you because it's there's a big score and it's an exciting score. It took us an but, hour, um, right? Was it an hour? Oh, no, or we were two? there for two hours. Two hours. Two we hours. So quick. I we literally went through everything. got in the car and I was like, I just feel like it's Christmas. Like it was so much fun because everything was so amazing. Yeah, when we were unpacking the boxes, like they were bringing boxes out and we were digging through. There was a whole section of garbage bags with clothes and I was ripping them open yeah. and pulling stuff out. And uh, I, we were working way harder than the other pickers. And we were, right? I've seen other pickers come in and then leave. And I'm thinking, where are you guys going? Yeah, where, never, where are you, you going? We even had a guy that knew you. He's like, I know. Yeah, yeah. We're like, we see guys walking around with like one item in their hands and it's like, man, if you can't find stuff Have here, you looked around. Yeah. yeah, like we got most of the good stuff, I would say, yeah. except for the larger items. There weren't very many people that like beautiful took stuff. Beautiful paintings and beautiful yeah. things. Yeah. Probably very expensive, but we did. We got our. We got the most of the stuff there. We bought more than anyone else. And uh, afterwards, we did a we did a last pass through everything, and it was like, yeah, okay, I think we got we, it. We feel good. We got it. It yeah. got busy when we left. We were like the one in the pretty much the. We were there before room. eight. Yeah. We got there first. So anyways, really exciting, exciting haul. We didn't film it. Sorry about that. But we wanted to at least film the haul so you guys can see what we got for 735. Let us know if you think that was a good deal. All right. I think it was, but it's, it is a lot of money to spend. And put in the comments what your favorite thing that we found. Yeah. What's your favorite thing we found? We want to hear from everyone. I want to yeah. know what they love. If What's you could only like grab one, one thing, thing or one niche, what, what would that have be? been at this yeah. sale if, they, if you saw all this stuff out there? Yeah. But, but no, like there were hundreds of boxes. It wow. was like a huge driveway, completely full and of stuff. And the sun kept bringing so stuff out. This is like the cherry pick stuff out of everything. There was a lot of stuff. Well, the all that jewelry was not out. I asked the sun. I've learned, ask for jewelry. My husband tells me, ask for jewelry. So I did. And the sun was super sweet and brought that out. And I was the only one. And I told Jack, some guy approached me when I was like going through the box. And I was like, <gasps> and I just grabbed all the bags and put them in my bag. Because I was like, I'm taking it all. Yeah. Probably so. they weren't happy. <laughs> the other picker wasn't happy. No, but that's it's okay. okay. <laughs> we're, not, we're not in the business to make him happy. Right? We gotta make our customers happy. Good. All right. Let's go. So a lot of this will be in our live auction, which will be over by the time you see this. But um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I can update with the amount of sales that we got out of this. Uh, what our profit? Actually, I'll do that right now. I'll put it right here. How much we sold out of what you see in the room so far as with when I put this video out? I'll put the number up there. Of how much we sold? All right. But hopefully, you guys have already commented below if you think that was a good purchase or not. Not based on what we sold for, but just what we paid. All right. So thanks you guys for watching. The safe was fun. The garage sale was fun and then on to some unboxing for more fun yeah thanks for watching next video will be out soon until then good luck to you god bless you and we'll see you next time here, here on, on Luck -a -Nuts. Luck -a -Nuts. oh what's this this is uh 28 this is for clay yeah oven baked clay uh that's that's neat when i was a kid i would have been totally into this stuff i bought stuff like that I wanted to make like uh, watch the, you know Saturday Night Live with uh, Mr. Bill and Mr. Han. I thought that was so stinking hilarious, and I wanted to do that.